Hello, thank you for joining me for this new and exciting tips tutorial on the 5x5 Paraminx. Let's get started. So it's the 5x5 Paraminx, um, or you could call it the Professor Paraminx. I guess that's the newer title for it, the uh, 5x5, it's uh, by Yushin. They also make the Yushin Master Paraminx, which is the four layer one. I just recently did some tutorials on it. Um, they definitely make, nowadays, they definitely make really good quality, uh, like the Master Paraminx and this one, the 5x5 Paraminx. The quality is great. I mean, it's just very, very good. So I'm going to show the first part, um, how to do this, how to approach this, and um, definitely you're going to learn something out of this. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a little challenging, but it's fun. And, you know, it's not, the first parts are not too hard as long as you know how to do them. Um, but definitely you're going to learn a lot. So um, let's get started. So more or less, the first part you want to do is find uh, whatever color you want, whether it's red or blue or yellow or green. I'm going to choose yellow. Uh, it's good base color for, I'm going to put that on the bottom and go from there. So we already have two on top. Like, let's say, for example, this is here. So you just, you want to bring two up. So you have two on the top like this, like one here, one here, whatever color, if it's blue or blue like that, you have two here. Then once you have them here, you keep it on top and you just look on the bottom and you turn till you find the right color, which is yellow this this little edge of the two piece here so then you turn this one down here and turn this one down here so you have three of these little uh edge corner things like that on the same face then you put it on the bottom then on top you know you got the two reds right here so you just turn the top piece so you have three of them like that so you look around you have the the three blues three greens, and then you got the three yellows. So what I'm going to show is how to solve these uh, inner inner pieces here, like here and here, like here and here, all the way around. That's what I'm going to show first tonight. Um, so like an example, we got the yellow and red, like you got the yellow here and red. And that will go down like right here that's what we want yellow and red right here like that so you find a piece on this layer you know whatever you whatever color you're doing on the bottom and you you know you just want to match it up so we're going to do turn this down first and then we're going to bring this big section down like that next so we'll do a down with this down then a do down with this big section here like that. Up with this section. Up with this section. So we got our yellow and red in. And actually we have the other one in already. So it's pretty odd. I mean, I, I didn't plan on it. Just, I guess it just sort of happened like that. Um, and actually we have a yellow and blue already in too. So that's sort of crazy. <laughs> this normally doesn't happen. <laughs> So um, here we got another yellow and blue right here, blue and yellow. You want these inner pieces here, not the outer, but the inner. And that's going to go right down here like that yellow and blue like this one. So we'll start with the left down and then we'll bring this big right section down like that. So you do down, down up up so you got the yellow and blue on here so these are the ones you want to start with you don't want to start with these outers and fill all these in you got to do these first for it to work so next we're going to look for uh the yellow and green to put them in here because green's on the outer yellow's on this side here so let's see here. Uh, 
yeah we also you could look at the top like here here's the other yellow and green right here and that one's going to come down here so it's a different this is a, a little bit different how you do this the other one we did this section first so now we're going to do the big section first so the green and yellow here is coming down to here to match up with the yellow and green so you do it down with the big section then you do the little section here like that bring the big section back up like that then bring this back up like that so you got the yellow and green in right here and we just got to find one more yellow and green so look around actually i think i found it already <laughs> here it is right here on the lower lower half so you got the green and yellow we need to put it in here where it's yellow like this and green to match with this like that so we got it right here so we'll bring this little section down first that way I'm sorry so you can see it down down up and up so we managed to put in our yellow and green like right here is yellow and green here got the two yellow and reds on the inners there like that and the two yellow and blues so that's what I just wanted to show first is put the you know put all three edges like that and then show the inners because that's that's the challenging part if you don't know how to do this that's the challenging part <laughs> and uh so yeah i just wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you step by step how to put those in just to get you started and then i'm going to do another tips tutorial on putting these in these uh edge things here all the way around so yeah, thank you for watching today. Um, it's, it's Thursday here in Chicago. I have my McDonald's coffee and McCafe, and I'm loving it. And it's actually full. It's a large one, full. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And... Uh, yeah, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching, and I, I definitely will reply to you. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Happy Thursday, everyone.